Good evening, everyone. Zero. Uh, hi, guys. Welcome to our second pre-match uh, press conference of the season. We play Hyderabad FC tomorrow. Addressing today's press conference will be first uh, our defender Rahul Beke, followed by the head coach Des Buckingham. Uh, same drill as always. Please put your names in the chat box if you have a question. And uh, when I say your name, uh, you can ask a question. If you have uh, questions for Rahul, you can put your names in the chat box. Rahul, before we get the first question, just to start off, how important was that win in the first game and how important will it be to build for the rest of the season? Uh, it was an important win for us. Uh, it was our first game. Uh, we're happy that we kept a clean sheet and we got the uh, result that we wanted. But now we are more focused on our coming games, uh, especially the one we will be playing tomorrow. We have a question from Harsh. Harsh, you have a question? Yeah. Uh, hi, Rahul. Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, my question to you is, uh, uh, what are your thoughts uh, about uh, Des Buckingham's style of play? It's a new one for you. And uh, how different uh, would you say is it from uh, the style of play you used to play in BSC? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we know that uh, coaches uh, come here with his own experience and plans and we all are working hard uh, to do well uh, and uh, play as per the plan. So that's our uh, main motto and team is improving each and every day in the training and surely in our coming games we will get better and do well. Great. Uh, in the meantime, guys, if you have any more questions for Rahul, Rahul is a question from somebody who couldn't be here. How would how much better do you think this team can get from here now? Obviously, uh, uh, the only thing uh, is to get improved. Uh, we have to improve each and every day uh, in each and every training. Uh, that, that will be our target. And uh, uh, it's important uh, as a team, uh, we do well and we uh, win the matches. Uh, that's, that will be our uh, main focus uh, to achieve our targets of the season. Arsh, I believe you have a follow. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Rahul, you played with Motada Fall in the first match, and uh, he's uh, he's one of the best defenders uh, in in the ISL. Uh, so how has your experience been uh, playing with him, and uh, how's how's it been like? Uh, it was a good experience uh, in my first game. Uh, he's always there to help me on and off the pitch. So this is my first time I'm playing with him. So throughout the preseason, uh, three weeks, uh, he has helped me. Uh, as a def as a defender, and he has shared his experience, uh, and he is always there to help each and everyone. So he's one of the le uh, leader in our team. So it was a great experience. We have a question from Ashwati from Halfway Football. Uh, good afternoon, Rahul. Good afternoon. Uh, so you are one of the most senior players, uh, like most senior Indian player in the squad. So how do you motivate and influence the youngsters in the squad? Uh, yeah, uh, I have uh, played uh, Indian Super League for the last uh, seven years. And uh, it's important that I share my experience with my teammates, uh, especially with the youngsters, uh, so that they improve and uh, they do uh, good for the team and help the team. Uh, if there's any further questions for Rahul, otherwise we'll move to the head coach. Give it 10 seconds. Rohan from the bridge, last question. Afternoon, Rahul. So, your next game is against ATK Mohan Badar. It's a very tough game like last year. Last year, like you have runner ups and defending champions. So, well, the next game is uh, against Hyderabad. Yeah, Hyderabad. So, Hyderabad is a little rising team. They lost Chennai in FC, but like you have, you have seen last year, you know, they were a tough team. So, how do you think that how will you play against Hyderabad FC? Uh, obviously, we know that they are a good team. They got good players. Uh, but uh, it's important uh, that we focus on our way of play. Uh, we know they are a good team. They got good players. But uh, it's important that we do well tomorrow. Uh, we will be doing the same things that we did in our first game. And um, it's important that we get the victory tomorrow. Now, this is a question from Anand, whose mic unfortunately isn't working. How upbeat is the camp and how much has, I'm assuming, the last result has helped this, has built this team's confidence ahead of the next game? Uh, surely, uh, team's uh, morale is high.
because of the win we got in the first game. Uh, uh, we got it was our first game we played in Indian Super League uh, this season, and our team is doing good. Uh, even in the camp here, uh, everyone is happy, positive, and the atmosphere uh, in the team in the dressing room is good. So uh, surely we will go with a positive mindset for tomorrow's game and. Um, Looking forward to get a win tomorrow. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you. Coach. Thanks, Rahul. Guys, same drill as always. Uh, names in the chat box. If you have a question, please. We'll just wait for the first question to come. Harsh, first as always. Yeah. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, uh, my question to you is: uh, there were a lot of positives from the game, of course. Uh, what would you say were uh, some weaknesses which uh, the team needs to address, according to you? <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a nice start for us. I've said this after the game, but that's that's all it was. You know, it's the first game together. Uh, we had six players making their debut for the for the club. And of course, we'd had some change in the coaching staff department. So to get off to the start that we did was very pleasing. Um, there's a lot of work that we still need to do. Uh, and we've been addressing that over the last couple of days. I'll keep that to myself for the time being until after the game. Um, but I'm happy to, to share that with you afterwards, hopefully. Thank you. Thanks, Arsh. Was this a question from somebody who couldn't be how, how much better do you, just, do you think this team can get? Can you? I think every team, um, not just our team, I think every team that place and the longer the season goes on I think we've seen this I certainly see this in this league last year was for every game that got um, the more advanced the rounds got the quicker the games got the more the players got used to playing at the speeds and you know with a very short pre-season uh, the longer the season does go on I think the games will get quicker and players will get more uh, refined to play in the way that they want um, so I think the, the league not just us I'd like to think we will continue to get better but I think so will every other team in the league. Thanks coach. <coughs> we have Rowan from the bridge. Hi, coach. Hi. There was a, it was a great game against FC Doha, but there were a couple of injuries, I guess, to Rainier and Vidnesh. So, can you tell us how are they there and are they fit for the next game or not? Yeah, so uh, uh, Rainier is, is okay. Um, Vignesh, unfortunately, is we've sent for a scan, and uh, Vignesh will be out for around four to five weeks uh, with a, an ankle um, issue, obviously, from the tackle the other night where he had to come off. So Vignesh won't be available for not just tomorrow, but for the, for the foreseeable games coming up. Um, but Rainey and every, every other player has pulled up well and is available for full selection. Got a question from Anand. He, and his mic's not working. He wants to ask you about your evaluation of Hyderabad's 1-0 loss to Chennai and where do you feel Mumbai, Mumbai's match against Hyderabad will be won? Yeah, we watched their game back here. Uh, I, was, I was very surprised that the, the scoreline at halftime was was what it was at nil nil. Uh, I thought Hyderabad played extremely well, uh, very quick, created a lot of chances, and um, you know didn't come out with the game with the result. I'm sure that they wanted and maybe what the first half deserved. So we're very aware of the strengths of their group. You know, they've a group that stayed together. The coach has got them very well organised and playing a very very good standard of football. And we we've played against them in pre season already, so we've had a taste of that. Um, so we we're ready for what we need to be ready for. But again, the focus is on us. Um, not so much Hyderabad. We'll prepare the players for what we think we're going to get, but the focus is back on what we want to do and how we want to do it. Aswati from Hafey Football. Um, hi, Coach. Uh, so uh, uh, how is the feeling in the camp ahead of the second game after a wonderful win uh, in the first game? Yeah, I think anywhere around the world, I think if uh, your first game of the season, everybody wants to, to play well and uh, ideally play well and, and win. So the feeling when we got back to the camp um, was, was one of um, happiness and excitement. You know, the hotel, we were greeted by the hotel staff here uh, fantastically well. Um, they've looked after us extremely well since we've been here. And that, that feeling has, has continued. Uh, but it's been more about trying to get the players now recovered and fresh because we do have a lot of games coming up in a short space of time. But the, the mood is very good at the moment, but it's important that, again, that mood is one of focus as we get ready for a very good Hyderabad team. Sandeep, uh, you have a question? Yeah, hi, good. Hi. Um, ask you about Angulo. <clears throat> Having a player like him up front uh, who needs very little touches to convert 
how much does that uh, help you in terms of planning or uh, is that just part of the team that you're looking at? Yeah, I mean, the, the two goals that he scored, especially the second, was was a fantastic, um, that's, a, that's a proper finisher. You know, it doesn't take too much for him to get a sight of goal to, to try and find a, a shot or the back of the net. And that's something that, you know, as a coach, you, you look out for those types of players in any team. So to have someone like Igor here and his finishing ability is very good. But the one thing I, I must stress is the work rate of the team out of possession uh, was, was a real key part to allowing not just Igor, but others when we did win the ball to be in good positions to be able to either counter or to get goal scoring moments. And uh, the work rate of every single player um, was fantastic. And again, that's something we're going to have to do again tomorrow night. All the best, coach. Thank you. Thanks, Sandeep. Arsh, I believe you have a follow up. Yeah. Uh, so, coach, uh, you, uh, the team will play 20 matches in around four months, and uh, the number of days between games uh, are not much. Uh, we saw in the first game that your uh, the intensity of your style is quite high. Uh, how do you uh, plan on tackle uh, plan to tackle that issue of uh, not having enough days to recover after the game? Yeah, we have to manage manage our squad and try and manage it as best as we can. Um, so that's my job is to to try and do that, and then it's the players' roles here in the camp to make sure that they can keep themselves fresh and ready to play if they need to. And a fantastic example of that the other night was young Rakip, who was came on for Vignesh early in the game and came on and, and performed extremely well. Um, so he won't be the only one over the next couple of games that gets those opportunities. And it's important that when they do get those opportunities, um, that we trust them to have them. And we certainly trust the players we have in this group. And then it's up to the players to go out and show, show people what they're capable of doing. So it'll be management of the squad and players being ready to, to take the opportunity. Coach, we have a question from Shivam who couldn't be here. Uh, in the starting minutes of the match against FC Goa, Mumbai were very high in their own half, giving no room to FC Goa to get inside. And then as Goa was shackled, Mumbai started finding their opportunities and pressing higher and higher. Was that always the plan? We, we'll have a plan for every team we, we play. Uh, we've also got a style of football that we want to implement. And when I say style of football, it's not just when we have possession of the ball. Um, it's very important again, when we haven't got the ball that we have a way of doing things that we want. But we also need to be aware that every team we play will have their different threats. So how we go about implementing that style out of possession will be different for every team. So that was the plan against Goa uh, and it worked in, in patches. There was areas we need to really tidy up in. Um, and it will be important, whether it's the Hyderabad game or ones after that against ATK and so on, that we're, we're prepared um, to be able to do either similar things or, or work as hard minimally as we need to. Thank you, Coach. Uh, guys, if there's any further questions, otherwise you can call it time. Just give it a few seconds. Hush, <laughs> always has questions. Yeah, uh, last question from my side. Huh? So, coach uh, Angulo and Katitao both uh, scored amazing goals in the last game. Uh, is it is it a headache for you to decide uh, which one to start and how to uh, go about with them in the team? Um, no, not really. Uh, they, you know, Katatao and Casio, they were late arriving into the camp just because of uh, getting them here and then having to quarantine a little bit longer than, than others um, because of where they come from. So in terms of match fitness and getting them up to speed, it's a case of using the trainings that we have uh, and the minutes that we can get into them on the field to get them up to speed. And then when we have everybody fully available and fit, it's a fantastic problem for any coach to, to, to have. So you know, what it does do is it gives us different ways of playing and different options that should we need to, we can go to. Right. All the best, good. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. If there's no further questions, guys. All right, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the pre-match press conference ahead of our next game against ADK Mondovan.